Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. It's the last day of fall. Yeah, I skipped ahead a few days. Uh, the only thing I did was a couple jobs. There's just not much to do at this point. So I fast forward it, but since it's the last day of fall, uh, one thing we need to do is, first thing, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of the animals to begin with. I actually got to take care of the sheep uh, on the fifth, on the fifth day of autumn. I had to take care of the sheep at night. I had to give them some water because they were just about out. So before we take the water browser out of here, we're going to fill them back up just to make sure. And then we'll take them over to the chickens. Make sure the chickens are uh, taken care of. And we're going to sell some eggs today as well. Uh, the other thing we could also do today is fertilize our fields that we seeded. With the fertilizer that we have. Oh wow, the chickens are taking more water than I thought. Uh, so while we're here, because we're we'll be going down to town, uh, if we look in here, uh, let's see, I gotta hit this button and this button. Yeah, so we just topped off of water. We got 243 eggs. Uh, C, collect eggs. Boom. Thank you, ladies. That might be a couple grand. So we don't need to feed the sheep just yet. They're still getting food uh, before I just go ahead and lie to myself and everyone. Uh, yeah, so we topped them off from water. They're still getting uh, hay from their field. And as we see, the cows are up to 46%. Uh, they need power food. They're still eating grass from the field. And they're fine everywhere else, but we are just going to go down and top them off with water. And I think we're going to leave the water tank down there for now I knew that truck was eventually going that's one thing I do like about the traffic on this map it's not the slow farming simulator traffic and away he goes sort of now the other thing I gotta kind of remember myself about is uh, repairing the vehicles but we can do that in the winter time. I do have the toolbox that I believe I can repair stuff with. Uh, nine more days before this requires maintenance, so we're fine. For the most part. So yeah, on the last day of autumn we're going to pretty much take care of the animals. Uh, make sure they're ready for winter. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when the first day of winter hits because they're getting their feed from the pastures. Their trough should still have some stuff left into it, so we should have to watch out for it too much. But I'll probably skip the first couple days of winter, and like the third day of winter, I think that's when the prices of the crops or the grain go up and we'll sell some grain. Might even do that in this episode. We'll see how it runs along here. Today we're going to get the water from the cow, uh, the cow pasture. Not going to bother going in the river, over the railroad tracks, all that fun stuff. I just realized the trailer for the grain is going to be up at the other farm, or up at the farm. Don't you ladies try sneaking out now. We've been taking too good care of you at this point. Sometime in the future when we get a lot of cows and sheep, maybe we'll activate the water trough. But maybe not. I kind of like the... Uh, one thing I do love about Farming Simulator is uh, taking care of the animals. So I may not even do that. 
And besides, you only gotta do it once every three days anyways. But I guess if it gets to be too much of a hassle, you can always turn it on. And, wow, the cows didn't need much water now, did they? Alright, ladies. I shall return with your power food. But for now, we'll go park this over here where your straw and hay is. But eventually, very soon, we'll have enough money to buy our, our uh, truck. And when we buy the truck, we're also going to buy the logging trailer. And what we'll do is once we get that, we'll take the truck and the logging trailer up to the forestry area, cut down a whole bunch of trees, and probably sell about two trailer loads, which we'll be able to finally buy like a tanker. And then we can take our truck with a tanker and start filling up our bioprocessing plant. So we can make seed, gas, and liquid fertilizer. Well, okay, the bioprocessing plant will make gas, liquid fertilizer, and artificial fertilizer, which we can take the liquid fertilizer to make seed. All that we need, kind of need the truck for. Running around with the John Deere and the Joskin is this getting to be just a little bit too much? And you know me, I'm trying to do this without dipping in and buying a loan. I need 125 grand pretty much to do the truck and another 15 grand so we need like 140 grand to get the truck and the trailer but I could always just take out a quick loan do that go cut some wood get a couple trailer loads deliver it and uh, repay off the loan in the same day that's what we can do And eventually, next year, we'll upgrade the cedar and possibly the cultivator and a tractor. That's kind of the goal of the farm. And once we do that, we can start thinking about uh, maybe purchasing more land. Of course, the more land you got, the more crops you can do. All that good stuff. All right, so we need to go take care of the chickens, first of all. Oh yeah, and eventually I got to take care of that combine header that's in there. That, oh man, yeah, I goofed up on that one. Uh, just a little bit of wheat. That should be more than enough for the chickens. We'll top them off because they, you know, in about six days they produce about six grand. Uh, yeah, six grand. But we'll see how much the eggs uh, go for. I kind of I'm, I'm loving this mod. I wasn't sure if I was gonna. Wheat is not accepted here. Pardon me. Am I not in the right correct trigger? Damn straight. Oh, I must have been the straw trigger. I might have to bring up one bale of straw to put in there so they can, maybe in the winter we can have them breed or something. Or at least put it in there. So if we ever run out of food and water, I can just push over to breeding and they can breed in the meantime. So I need to put the wheat back in the inventory because we need an empty trailer to go down to feed off the moo cows. That's right. I gotta remember I can't back in there all the way because the trailer does kind of cause a problem with the shed. But now we need to head back on down to the cows and give them some power food. Want to keep that power food in it so we can build up their health for next year. In case you haven't seen the earlier episode when we got cows, we just had the grass from the pasture. 
So their health started at 7%. We have crept that up to 40... I forgot, 42%, whatever I showed at the beginning of this episode. So hopefully by spring, if I keep up with the power of food and all that, you know, we should be in the 50s. Hopefully by then. And at some point, maybe we'll buy some... Well, I shouldn't say maybe at some point. At some point, we'll be buying more cows. So we can get the manure, liquid manure, to feed off a bio gas... Uh, bio produ produce plant? Produce plant? Production plant? I'll just keep saying peas so I get it right, like peanut, peanut butter, peanut brittle. But I'm looking forward to getting the truck. I thought about cheating the money in, not cheating the money in, but grabbing a loan. Which I, I may just do by the end of this episode because I've been itching for it for a while. And we get started on logging and start selling some logs. To get some more cash. Now the only thing I may have to do is also put down a silo for silage. Because right now this is our only trailer. If I put too much silage in here than what the cows can take, I really have no place to put it. I do have a, a modded silo that will take silage. Um, it's kind of a funky looking one in my opinion, but <laughs> hey, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, it's out of silage right now, which is okay because we got more than enough power food for our 10 cows. Yeah, we got 57,000. I think they're only going to take like five, five or six. All right, let's go top them off. one thing see I don't know if it's seasons that it does it or it's the coating and farming simulator but even though I got 6,000 liters of power food when I go to put it in since it's kind of like silage it counts as silage and power food so it kind of divides up what you have so this is show what I'm saying so like I got 179 liters in there for power food this is all power food but I'm not gonna have 6,000 liters when it gets done should take it all. See, it only shows 2400. So it's like 40% of what I put in. So a lot of it went into silage and hay. So I'm going to go get some more, another six or 7,000 liters, and put it in there so we can top off their power food. You think by putting all power food, it count it, it all as power food, but it doesn't. So I don't know if someone knows if that's a seasons modded thing, or is that something that was always done in Farming Simulator? I just never noticed it until recently. So this time we'll take about 8,000 liters. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right on the nose. So this should make the cows happy for three days. Once I can see how much they actually take. So I'm putting in, I've put in like, this will be 14,000, I've put six in before, eight now, so that's 14,000. Uh, so they actually took about six and six, so about 12,000. And it shows up as four. And the rest of it went to silage and hay. So I'm not quite getting that, and their health is up to 46%. So you ladies need to eat some of that up because now I got silage in here. 
that I kind of need to empty out so when it comes time in about three days to sell grain I can use the trailer all right so let's take the John Deere we're gonna go make some cash if I can remember a selling point for eggs so let me drive I'm probably gonna take a I may take a jump cut here because I don't quite remember where it is but then again I do uh, there's a loan the bank area it doesn't show on the map does it No, it doesn't. No, it does not. There's our header trailer that I had to reset because of what I did. Of my mistakes that were made. Really? You're going to pull it in front of me? I don't think so, mister. I know it's in one of these loops here. Move it, dude. I didn't know traffic went this way. I went this way to get out of the way of traffic. Okay. Here's the little park. Aha! There it is. Pitching $2,400, well, almost $2,500 in eggs. Thank you, chickens. Alright, so we're going to head back up to the farm. I shall see you there in a quick second and we're going to fertilize some fields why is my game acting all haywire I'm not doing anything are we sure now alright there we go I don't know what that was all about but I'll see you in a second back up at the farm and uh, we'll we'll do some fertilization of our fields. See you in a second. All right, we got our new Holland and our tank full of fertilizer. And I got thinking after a while, uh, driving up there, I said, "Why did I bring my John Deere up here when the trailer's down there, the water tanker's down there?" Yeah, I should have slept the John Deere down there and hopped up to the new Holland. But whatever. And in case I forgot to mention it before. Oops, I forgot didn't see the iron fence there. Uh, the grass field that we own uh, really hasn't grown at all. So, no mowing that. Alright, so let's turn this on and fertilize our fields here. This should be the second stage for three of them, but one of them or two of them. Uh, I can't remember now. Well, this should be the second stage on a couple fields, and one field should be its final stage. Oh, I can't remember now. I don't remember. Uh, I forgot. I clicked the button and forgot to read it. I didn't want to waste fertilizer. Why why does it always come up when you're fertilizing? And your fertilizer's just going. Don't do that to me, man. That's that's rude. Totally rude and unacceptable. So I think uh, for this episode we'll just finish up with, with the fertilization. And then begin the next episode. We'll we will buy the truck. And the first, uh, the first thing we do is we can use a truck to hitch up to the Joskin trailer. 
and deliver all of our, well not all of our grain, we're going to keep some of it, uh, deliver some of our grain, and then we'll uh, get the trailer, we should have enough to buy the trailer as well for logging, and then we'll do some logging, without me having, because it's an auto loading trailer, and I'm going to just cut down trees, we'll hook the trailer and go sell it. If I remember, usually I can get like 60 to 70 grand per trailer load. So I'll have to cut down some trees with a chainsaw. So we have to probably make like two deliveries. So I'll give us enough money to buy us a tanker. And the first tanker that we're using will be for uh, the liquid, well, the slurry from the cows to bring to the processing plant. We can also use it for liquid fertilizer bring to the seed master. So we can make more make some more seed. And if it comes down to it, we can also use it for fuel if our vehicle is required. We do have some fuel still left in storage up here. I don't really think anything is in desperate need of fuel. So to begin next up when you start next episode, you probably see some snow on the ground probably around day three. So we may have to just top off the animals again. Because the animals usually goes can go three days on seasons. So it looks like I might be able to get two fields done. Which is fine because we got all next year to get the final couple fertilization stages on it by then. Since we'll have a good form of transport with a truck and a tanker, our bioprocessing plant should have enough artificial fertilizer to go around the fields we got. And our cows are getting healthier so they're going to produce more uh, product to put in the processing plant. So it all works out, right? Okay, let's turn that off for a second. Let's go to... Oh wait, first off, what was going on? So, there's a sale on... Uh, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I can't get used to the symbols just yet, so I don't have any of that anyways. You can see the prices are starting to look halfway decent on some stuff. Uh, obviously, it's wheat that we got a lot of. And this should be oat. Uh, price is going up on that. Uh, Triticale, we got some of that. Price is starting to look pretty decent. And millet, price is starting to go up on that as well. But it's going to be like the third or fourth day of winter. When I didn't want to get done with that yet. Here, here we go. Uh, yeah, so that's the second stage of fertilization there. So we'll see if we can get the second stage in this one, and we'll see if I got enough to get this field here. Probably not. You can do both. That way all of our fields that we do have seed will be in second stage. So it's not going to take long to do these fields. And then sometime in the springtime, or yeah, probably in the springtime, I'll start working on these trees once again out here. I don't think the auto-loading trailer will auto-load these trees at all. But of course, we'll give it a try, but if not, at least we'll have a big trailer, not the Joskin. An official logging trailer, if you will. And we'll load them up that way. Might be easier. If it does auto load them, thank you very much. I do like these trees. They do look better when they're planted, but cutting them up is sure a pain in the butt. It's not that difficult. If you do it enough, you probably get to be a pro at it. It's like, this isn't difficult. What's he talking about? Yeah, I may only have enough fertilizer to do this field here.
Although I think I still had some in storage, so I can go top it off and see if we can finish off, or at least get that field somewhat done. Well, this time of the day, it's getting kind of rough to see the edge of the fertilization on the field. Let me finish up this field. I'll go top off the fertilizer and we'll see how far we get on the other field. So I'll see you in a second. Well, we had quite a bit of fertilizer left in the storage. I think it was like 450, somewhere around there. So we're going to have enough to finish off this field. And I think that's where we'll leave it off. Well, that way all of our four fields here will be in the second fertilizing stage. Just make it easier for me to remember. But I'll probably forget anyways. Because, you know. Uh, no, I don't want to turn here. I want to turn here. But the one thing I will want to check before we call an episode is the big fields down below. Uh, because if our fields have grown, more than likely those fields have grown. So I can probably fertilize those fields. and I'll, Like I always do, I'll do that off camera. Uh, probably in between episodes and that could give us more than enough money to buy the truck before having to get a loan which would be great because yeah, we only need another 30,000 and there's five fields down there to take care of But I got to get used to the uh, uh, the seasons. I never planted in the fall for seasons for, for the winter. And I got so used to Farmer's Dynasty to where when you plant crops in the fall, you harvest them in the spring. So the, I just didn't even look at the, the map to see when you harvested them. I was like, oh wait, I still, I still can't harvest them until the fall of next year. Okay. So you're not going to get two harvests per field on this. But that's okay. Uh, that just means that we got our work done in the fields for next year. So I can focus on other things. There, how does the map look? That's a little wonky. It looks like a little pixel area. But for the most part, they're covered. Uh, we'll seed these next year with something. Something or other. But let's take the fertilizer back, drop that off, we'll park the new hauling up. And we'll go see what the big fields are up to. I think I get like seven grand roughly to fertilize them. So you got five fields, that's you know, 35 grand. Which is what we're looking for. But again, we're out of artificial fertilizer. Just what we got left in the little tank here. And this spreader is good enough for the fields that we have. But eventually, we'll get a bigger fertilizer spreader, which means we need a more fertilizer. Which we need our cows to produce just a little bit more, which they will. In due time. Actually, how are the cows... Not health wise, but yeah, we're up to eight gram manure and uh, milk is doing good. They actually got quite a bit of liquid manure I could take in. Oops, I want to stay in that. So, yeah, their health is 46% cheap. Wow, we're up to 92%. That's good. Actually, their fields are. Are they fully fertilized? No, no, they're not. So, I'm going to have to fertilize these in between episodes. And, uh, yeah, so there's seven grand for that. 
they're not all going to be seven grand, but give or take. There's seven grand for that. This is a small field, so it's going to be a little bit lower. So, but still, hey, and we don't need it for reputation. I just do these fields now for the cash. So there's five. And there's another five. So 10, 10, 24. Yeah, about 28 to 30,000 was exactly what we need. So I'll do these fields in between episodes when we come back and we start the next episode. Uh, if we don't quite have enough money, I don't care. We'll take us a little bit of a loan. We'll buy the, uh, the truck. We'll sell some grain. Then we'll buy the uh, logging trailer. And uh, we'll go cut some logs. Get enough money to buy our first tanker. And then we can start bringing some of that liquid slurry to the bioprocessing plant. So we can start making more liquid fertilizer for the seed master. And artificial fertilizer for our fields. And some diesel fuel as well. But uh, that's going to do it for today guys. Thank you for watching as always. Hopefully the video was enjoyable for you. And I'll see you the next episode of the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.